This video introduces working with multiple simulations, adjusting loads, and additional simulation workflows. There are no limitations on the number of simulations you can run from a single assembly tab. To add simulations, expand the simulation panel and select Add Simulation. A new simulation is added in the simulation panel table and the new simulation is available in the simulation field drop-down list. Change the active simulation from the simulation fields drop-down list or from the simulation panel table by right-clicking the simulation name in the column header and choosing Set Active. The option to delete a simulation is also available from this context menu. When a new simulation is added to the table, any loads in the table are default enabled for the new simulation. This is because multiple loads and load types can be evaluated in a single simulation. Turn a load off for a simulation by unchecking the load in the simulation column. Additionally, if a new load is added to the assembly, all simulations have the new load enabled by default. If this default is unwanted, the new load should be unchecked for the existing simulations in the table. A simulation does not have to be active to make modifications to it from the simulation table. The simulation table also provides a quick way to change a load's magnitude per simulation. To change the magnitude, double-click in the table cell and enter the new value. Press Enter on your keyboard to accept the change. When more simulations exist than what can be displayed within the simulation panel, the vertical and horizontal scroll bars are available for navigation. To adjust the simulation settings display area, hover over the borderline between the table and the simulation settings, then click and drag when you see the double-sided arrow. Utilize the horizontal scroll bar to see the additional simulations in the table. There are additional workflow options when working with multiple simulation setups. Because simulation is natively on shape, simulations can be leveraged across branches and configurations to evaluate different scenarios. Utilize branching to evaluate the performance of design changes, testing a simulation load in each branch. Take advantage of Onshape's selective merge feature to merge design aspects from one branch into another. Utilize configurations to test different product options against one another, or use a checkbox configuration to toggle a simulation constraint in an assembly with degrees of freedom. Note that simulation loads are not configurable in the configuration panel, they are only editable in the simulation panel and in the assembly instance list. When your desired simulation setup is substantially different from your production, another workflow to consider is to insert that main assembly as a sub-assembly in a designated simulation assembly tab. This ensures the target assembly stays up to date and additional simulation bodies and constraints can be added to accurately analyze the model. Note that mates from the sub-assembly cannot be edited in the new assembly, but you can add additional mates and fixed components as necessary. This video discussed how to adjust loads and how to work with multiple simulations in an assembly.